everybody. It is just before 11 o'clock on Sunday, October 6th. And I am going through buttons. And if you thought that was all I had to go through, <laughs> you're wrong. I've been collecting buttons for more than four years. And it seems like because people know I'm crafty and I know how to sew, every time somebody passes away, I inherit all their sewing stuff. And I don't know how to say no. So... Yeah. Anyway, I need to pull some buttons from this massive collection for a couple of different projects. That's a cool button. Too bad there's only one of those. This is my mother-in-law's collection of buttons. I do not know where she got that one from. It looks like a hand-blown glass button. How cool is that? It would look great on this sweater. I need some buttons for this sweater, but... There's only one. Anyway, um, I also have another jacket, that one over there, that my initial idea with the jacket was to cover like the yoke of the jacket with just a bunch of um, old buttons, probably white ones, and um, replace the buttons down the front. So we're gonna go through the collection today while we're listening to some YouTube and doing random chores and see if we can find some buttons. So, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is the end of the day on Monday, Oct October 7th, I think. Um, grandson is 18 months old today. Uh, anyway, it was a slow start to the morning. Uh, any of you out there, I'm sure many of you have suffered from insomnia for a myriad of reasons, um, but when you can't get a good night's sleep, then the next day you just feel like crap. <laughs> if you never have had insomnia, I envy you and I want to be you. <laughs> anyway, um, when grandson got here today, I did babysit a little bit today and um, we did go for a walk. He was only here for a couple of hours while mommy had a meeting and um, the rest of the day I've just spent crocheting on a sweater that I'm working on. I haven't really gotten a lot done. I am going to sit and um, I've got to do my daily drawing. So we're going to do that. Uh, move the phone just a little bit. There we go. And um, some writing. And yeah, it's going to be a chill day. I have the rest of the week off um, from babysitting. So... I don't know. I can't think right now. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. It's just after 10 a.m. Not babysitting today. And because his other grandmother is in town, he's spending time with her. Um, I just finished editing the vlog. It is rendering right now. We'll get that uploaded and scheduled for tomorrow. I ordered a few parts so I can work on a couple projects. One of them is going to be that. Um, I'm going to make a couple of them because I want to send one to a friend. And I want to make one more of these art boxes. So I have that laid out. I need to put this away. Um, I have a crafting lunch date with a friend, my friend, dear friend Leslie McGrath. Um, so trying to get the vlog edited and scheduled before then poking at needles without your glasses on is probably a bad idea anyway <laughs> um so i'm trying to get that done before um and then i'm gonna work on my green sweater my goal is to get that done today my next project will be doing something with all these hexagons i made um one set I know I want to make a sweater out of the other one I want to do a wrap or a blanket or something um so I need to separate all that out at some point and that's gonna I think be the next project I carry around with me is sewing or crocheting hexagons together um and of course doing some daily drawing and some journaling as always um for my mental health and sanity um tomorrow i'm also i'm off the whole week so tomorrow i have the dentist appointment 
and the cleaning ladies are coming. So I will probably just stick around the house. Thursday, I might go thrifting, we'll see. Um, I have plenty of projects here to do and I don't really need anything. So if I end up staying home, don't be surprised. Okay um, guys, we're gonna go get some steps in even though it's kind of late. Uh, I did get a lot of stuff done today. Mm -hmm. I didn't film most of it because I spent quite a few hours this afternoon chatting with my dear friend, Leslie. I did get the green sweater almost done and before this vlog comes out, I should be finishing it and I will put a picture here. Um, I really love the way it's turning out. Anyway, I also prepped four more projects-ish. I'm gonna finally sit and sew some of those um, little hexagons together that I've been making. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's all I did. Just, just sat and crocheted all day. Can't say I'm mad at it. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in before it gets too dark and too late. I'll be hey back. everybody. It is Wednesday, October 9th. It's just after 10 a.m. Uh, cleaning ladies are coming today at about lunchtime. Bob is off at the office for a few hours and I'm having trouble getting going because, you know, for a myriad of reasons, but yeah, anyway. Okay, I still have to weave in the ends and put a, a, a tag on it, um, but this turned out super cute. No pattern for it. I just kind of winged it. And I've got it over a t -shirt, random t-shirt and leggings, but super cute. I really like the way it turned out. I ended up putting two buttons here and then they come off and there's two more buttons here. So yeah, I really like it. And uh, my husband asked me, just make sure you have the buttons on the proper side. And I'm like, ah. I wanted them on the right side. So they're on the right side. I don't care if that's right or wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna stick a label on it. Then I'm gonna sit and just weave in some ends and plan my next project. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.30ish AM on Thursday, October 10th, I think. Anyway, we have a dentist appointment today, but I also need to run a couple of random errands. So I'm gonna do some of the non-food errands before the dentist, go to the dentist, then do some food shopping for things we couldn't get last night. And yeah, we're, what am I doing after that? I have no idea. <laughs> Probably working on some random projects upstairs in the art room, cause hello. Um, Maybe reading a book. Maybe going for a walk. Uh, I don't know, but we'll see where the day takes us. Uh, first up is Joanne's. I need some yarn that's this color. Can y'all see that? Yeah, there you go. I do not have olive green yarn. <laughs> and I need to make a, a project, so. Anyway. All right, hey I'll guys. be back. It is late. <laughs> it's still Thursday, 6.37. I should probably eat dinner. Yes, I'm still up in the art room. Uh, Bob is off to Masonic Lodge thing. I've been up here all day since I got home playing and watching YouTube and crocheting for some reason. And I think I know why. I will link her video down below. I've been making flowers. And then this, I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> um, a few leaves. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. There is a YouTuber here that has taken small canvases and done different themes for each canvas. She paints the canvas in the base color, I think black. And then she crochets pieces to attach to the canvas. I know it sounds weird. They're, really beautiful and you should really check them out. So I'll link her video down below or her channel or whatever. Um, I also made, I've made a couple of these and I've shown them on the channel before and there is a YouTuber who shows how to do it. Um, so again, I'll link her channel before. This one is a travel 
watercolor sketch kit and um, or mini sketch kit. And I have one that's for cross stitch that's around here somewhere. That's a little bit smaller, um, cross stitch or embroidery. And I don't know what I'm gonna use this one for, but I just made that one. I'll put a picture like here somewhere. Um, it's obviously bumblebee themed. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think I just like making them, which I mean, if you've been here for a while, you know, I like making bags and boxes and bins and this one's her, that's better, her, her little ball. No matter how much I tried, they still came out. Oh, that's not your imagination. They're slanted this way. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for the day, put things away, clean up. I randomly put this elastic strap away somewhere and couldn't find it. It was inside the box. Um, I do put an elastic strap on them to, uh, not that the little, they have a little snap on them. They're travel jewelry cases. And then you just take them apart and you make them fit your um, creative thing that you like to do. And it's... Um, hard to put this on with one hand. And then you can just sort of grab it and go. Um, I really like that. Um, they come in different sizes. This is, um, I do cross stitch and embroidery occasionally, and this actually lives in my crochet bag. So if I'm out and about and I'm not in the mood for crocheting, especially for like on a long uh, road trip or we're staying overnight somewhere, I will sometimes just take this out and work on these. I only do mini, mini ones. I don't have the patience to do a big cross stitch, but anyway. Um, and they um, are inexpensive generally. You can get them, of course, on Amazon. This is the other one. And um, yeah, they're fun to make, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, you know. So anyway, I gotta let this one dry. I use a combination of Gorilla Glue and hot glue. And then of course, a couple of clips so we need to let things dry. Yes, I could not wait for it to dry and pull it apart and make it perfect. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't care if it's not perfect. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I might stick a couple more clamps on it and yeah. I'll be back. I'm getting lazy in my old age. <laughs> uh, it's already seven o'clock. Bob won't be home for a while. I'm only having bone broth and probably some garlic bread or something for dinner. I wasn't gonna do today's daily drawing or journaling, but why? It'll take a few minutes. Let's go do it. And yeah, I'll just beat myself up about it if I don't, so. That light drives me bonkers. All right, let's get it done. It doesn't need a new bulb, it has a new bulb. They're a particular kind of bulb. It's not an LED, it's some other kind of weird kind of bulb. I need a new light, that's all. All right, let's get this done. I'll be back. It is Friday, family dinner night. Um, I started a, another giveaway blanket last night. I have to go through and put care tags on all of them. It's just gonna be a little card that they can easily remove. And on there I'll, in pen, like write down what size they are. I just saw some sort of four-legged creature. 
It looked too big to be a cat. I don't know. Anyway, I started a new one of those last night, but I also got all the Halloween decorations up today. So, um, at least all the ones I could find. I'm forever looking for, I do think we have strings of Halloween colored lights. I just have little, all right, little LED puck light things out because I, I, I think we always put the, Chris, the Halloween lights with the Christmas lights. I don't know why we do that. Anyway, we'll see how Junior reacts to all the skeletons. <laughs> all right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna go see if I can see what that was and I'm gonna also go get the mail. I'll be okay, back. Family dinner night is over and I just thought it was funny to show you all the aftermath because, yeah, it, it's- It was only five, uh, two, four- It wasn't as five, full a house as normal. Five, five adults. We, we were two or three child, people short, yeah, so- A child and a dog. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, and you can't even see the pile of like toys that's back there, but yeah. So anyway, it was good, but now we have to clean up the mess. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's about, I don't know, it's after 10, just after 10. It's 10.30. 10.30, 10 30, there you go. We decided to spend at least part of today in the Portland Rose Garden, getting our steps in, because why not? So we are here to walk around for a couple hours visit the gift shop. I don't know if there's a place to grab a cup of coffee or something, you know, just stuff. Yeah, so we'll be back. Hey guys, it is uh, about 20 after 8 on Saturday, October 11th, I think. Um, we had a really great time um, driving into the Portland Rose Garden and walking around. We also went to the um, Japanese Tea Garden. Really had a great time got, walking around, got a lot of steps in, and um, it was a lot of fun. And then we stopped at a Italian market in Delhi um in Newburgh uh, on the way home and picked up some things uh I'm in we're both enjoying not just me um finding these little mom and pop places that make specialty foods um that you know, we don't necessarily go shopping there all the time but you know we go every now and then and pick up a few things and that was really great and I was able to eat a piece of cake because we went walking. Tomorrow, I think we're going to the gym. I'm not a gym for, fan, but yeah. Anyway, that's next week's vlog. Um, we had a really great time today. I spent the rest of the day working on uh, another um, giveaway or donation blanket that I'm making. I'm going to work on today's um, drawing. I haven't done that yet. Um, and I've been, you know, doing a few random chores and things around the house. Um, but it's been a good day. Nice, quiet Saturday. We had a lot of fun. Got some steps in. Really enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, I hope you guys had a great day. Uh, I know some people out there in my circle are... One is very sick. Um, nothing serious, but she's really, really sick. So hope you're feeling... You know who you are. Hope you're feeling better. Another one is suffering the loss of a dear friend. And so that's not something you're going to get over quickly. So I feel for them. And uh, yeah, everybody's struggling. Hurricane Milton and after Hurricane Helene. And there's just so much stuff going on. And the upcoming election is not helping anybody's mood at all. So I hope you're all doing what you can to stay safe and sane and healthy. And um, if I can get out and do stuff, even if I'm not real thrilled about it like going to the gym I hate the gym Ugh. um if I can do it you can so think about it I'm going to do my daily drawing and journaling I will share a few pictures here uh with you all from um today's walk around the garden because we did get some cute pictures and a little bit of video footage so I'll put that here
the 11th. It's the 12th. Holy cow. Okay, daily drawings are done. I'm, I told you I'm working on a scrap afghan and I think I'm running out of the multicolored yarn, which I don't remember what color it is, but it's neither of these and I'm not sure these are gonna work, but um, maybe this one will, maybe. So we'll see, I'll take it downstairs. Anyway, that's it for this week. I um, can tell that I'm battling a little bit of depression because I don't want to leave the house. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. Those of you who suffer from things like that know exactly what I'm talking about. So it is a thing, but art and creativity help. Family helps. So... If I do less analyzing and thinking and obsessing over things and I just go and do, then I'm happy, which is what happened today. So I'm going to keep doing that and I'm going to keep being creative where I can, even if it's only for, you know, five minutes here and there, um, or a few minutes, you know, a little bit in the evening doing some crocheting or something like that. And, you know, if I can make it work in my crazy schedule, you can make it work. Um, if you have suggestions, ideas, helpful hints for me or anybody else that's watching, leave them down in the comments below. All the relative links will be in the video description. Ways to support the free content here on YouTube and all that thing, all those things, all that thing. Yeah, I do have some ideas for tutorials coming up. I haven't filmed one in a while, I know, but if you guys have something specific you'd like to see, do leave it down below. Um, I have a little time off coming up. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of filming. So um, let me know. All right, that's it for this week. Don't forget the most important thing besides like, share, and subscribe. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.